Hey Salem, when did you start painting? When no one would read my screenplay. Arr. Have you died and not told me? I'm referred to as your lifelong companion. I meet the guy of my dreams and I die. I'm so pale. You're dead. Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about the 12th episode of the third season of Sabrina, so whose so-called life is it anyway? A bit of a tongue twister of a title. And I'm kind of torn with this episode in two ways. I'm just going to put little Salem up there. Um, usually with Sabrina episodes, Sabrina's storyline is the most exciting. It has the most going for it. And the ants and Salem kind of have a, a backstory that just kind of pads it out a little bit and makes it a little bit more interesting. Whereas with this, the main storyline, the bit about charitable magic and how Valerie is becoming just like Sabrina, is not my fav favourite. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy it. It's just that I'm not the biggest fan of Valerie. She sometimes can annoy me. Um, don't get me wrong, Lindsay Sloan is a fantastic actress, but the character just does my head in a lot of the times. But I do have to admit that it is interesting to see Valerie, what she would be like if she wasn't so much of a warrior. To be honest, I'm probably more like Valerie than I am Sabrina in that sense. But it is nice to see what the character would be like if she had a different look on life. And we do get various little looks at that with Valerie over sort of this season and the previous. But with this one we do get the most of it. And it's it's interesting, but because it's very Valerie heavy, I do kind of watch it thinking, hurry up Hilda, hurry up Zelda, get on screen. Hilda and Salem's story I think is fantastic. The fact that Salem is trying his hand at painting is wonderful, a cat with a paintbrush. What more could you ask for? And it makes me think Salem does have quite an artistic soul. And if he hadn't tried world domination, he might have actually become quite a successful artist in some form, be it painting, writing, dancing, maybe not dancing, but, you know, he might have actually done quite well in that sense. So, you know, a soul gone wrong, never mind. But the fact that the animatronic is in the artist's costume the entire episode pretty much is adorable. It's one of my favourite Salem costumes. I I think I prefer the one where he's in the powder blue tux, which is, I think, season four or five, I could be wrong, but um, I love that one, but he just is absolutely adorable, and when the real Salem is rolling around in the money, Salem in this one, I just think it's fantastic. We also get a lot of Hilda in this, and you can never have too much Hilda. The amount of costume changes she has in this episode is brilliant, um, but she always looks fantastic. I also like the fact that we have a look at Hilda's love life, but it's not focusing on that as such. And when she dies, it is, or oh, when she dies, it's, I laughed so much. And just Zelda brings in a lot of com comedy into this one with her responses to Hilda's reactions to being dead. You will have noticed at the beginning of this video when I kind of reenact my favourite quotes. A lot of them come from Zelda and her bluntness. It is unfortunate that Zelda doesn't really have a main storyline in this. And she's probably not even in a third of the episode. Because it's just not her time. But then there are episodes where Hilda has to take a back seat. But I think in all, it's a thoroughly enjoyable episode. On my, one of my favourite moments is the last frame, the last thing we see, which this will spoil the episode if you haven't seen it, but I'm assuming you've seen it. Um, it's when Salem's writing on the board, I must not kill Hilda. Every time I see that, I laugh. I just think it's such a blunt, a hilarious thing, and that's one of the things I love about this episode. It takes death. It just makes it absolutely hilarious. And Sabrina with her rock goth get up. It's just, it's a very odd episode where everything's backwards and we get to look at a lot of different things and a lot of different perspectives to what we normally would. But for the most part, it's comedic, it's adorable, and it's not as annoying as other Valerie episodes, uh, I have to say. Let me know your thoughts on whose so-called life is anyway. And I, I can't, I really cannot say that in one go. Whose so-called life is it anyway? There we go. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all next time. Bye.